What's up guys, Super Chally here. All right, today I'm just gonna go over the overview of what I paid for all the modifications that I've done to this vehicle so far. Just to give you guys, you know, a heads up on what things cost if you're looking to build your Challenger, just to show you what I've done so far. So first we'll get start, started with the Pro Charger because you know, that's the biggest you know modification I've done to the car. So just a little bit backstory on it. I wanted more power. So the guy told me, he's like, he can get me the kit for six grand. So I wrote him a check for $6,000. So $6,000 for the kit is what I paid. And then for the install, it was uh, 1500 bucks. So that included the install and the dyno. And he didn't do a custom tune. I just had the stock Pro Charger tune on it, but he did tweak it a little bit. The reason why he couldn't give me a custom tune was because he's an authorized Pro Charger dealer and that would void his credentials with the company. So he could only do it, do so much to it. So I still have to work on getting that. So that's still in place, but uh, Yep, 7,500 was for the um, Pro Charger. I'll keep that in mind, 7,500. Up next, we got the exhaust and the headers. So for the exhaust, we'll start with the headers. For the headers, I paid 1,500 bucks for the Cook's long tube headers that I have. So they are came with the high flow cats and they have the gasketless system, just like I showed in the exhaust video I have. So if you haven't seen that, check that one out. It's a really good review of it. So the headers, 1,500 bucks. And then I got the Borla attack system, um, you know, all the way back from the cats. And that was an also another 1,500 bucks. So about three grand for the full exhaust for this car. You don't have to go with the same system I did. I just chose those because they were both stainless and I love the way that they sounded. So uh, that's why I want that. So three grand for the exhaust. So we're at 7,500. So $10,500 already for the supercharger and the exhaust. All right guys, so up next I got the suspension. So I got the Eibach Pro Kit and that came with the shocks and the springs. And that was 800 bucks for the kit with that. And then it cost for labor to put that one in I had the dealership do it just because I don't have the ability to do shocks, struts, springs, anything like that. You know, you get to get that spring compressor. So I let the dealership take care of that one. And then it's a little bit more pricey, but you know, I trust them. They know what they're doing. So they did, uh, it was another 800 bucks, about 1600 bucks for me to get my um, suspension put on. I'm sure you guys can get it probably done cheaper, but it's all I had. I was in Hawaii at the time. I didn't have too many shops to choose from. So I had to go straight to the dealer. So that's why I chose that. So 1600 bucks for the uh, suspension. All right, so right now with the suspension, the exhaust, and the Pro Charger, we're sitting at $12,100 for the price of the mods. Next up, I got wheels and tires. So I wanted to upgrade my uh, wheels to the 20 inch Viper rims. So I did the 20 by um, eight and a half in the front and then 20 by tens in the back. So I got a little bit of a staggered feel to it. Um, I wrapped those in BF Goodwrench G-Forces. So the t wheels were $300 a piece. Now you guys can go whichever wheels you like. Um, I really like the Viper wheels, just the way you know it sits with the Challenger and the suspension. I really like that look. So I'm not hating on anybody else's wheels or tires set up. I just want you to know what I paid for mine. Um, you know, the wheels weren't anything special, nothing lightweight, nothing drag radial. I mean, nothing drag racing. And like, like I said, the tires were nothing drag radial. They're just comp two ASs. So um, keep that in mind. Whatever wheel, you might be able to get some cheaper. You might be able to get some more expensive, but that's, this is what I paid. So 1200 for the wheels and about 1200 for the tires. All right. So right now with the pro charger, the exhaust, the suspension and the wheels and tires, I'm sitting at $14,500. All right guys. So next up we got the catch can is a must for a Hemi and it's a must for any boosted Hemi. Like, please do it. You're, you're, you're going to regret it later down the road. So I got a UPR catch can and that was a little over hundred bucks. I'm just going to say hundred bucks to be safe. Maybe 120. I can't really remember. I don't have the receipt. It was a few years ago. So 100 bucks for that. So we're sitting at uh, $14,600. So get a catch can if you have a Hemi. Next up, I got my gauge. So the gauge I'll show you, it um, it's just your basic uh, Aero Force gauge. I have the boost uh, set up for it, and I also have the air fuel ratio. So all the guts and the gauge itself came in a kit, and that kit was about 400 bucks. It's a little bit pricey, but it's a really good gauge. It shows a lot of parameters, and I wanted to pay the price and get only one gauge because it'll show um, two parameters at a time, and it also has a bunch of pre-built in settings, so you don't really have to, you know, you can pick and choose what you want it to see. But to get the uh, O2 sensor working and the boost, it came with a whole bunch of um, piping and wiring, uh, so it was about 400 bucks for that gauge. 
So right there after the gauge, we're already sitting at $15,000. Um, the next mod I have is the Diablo Sport Trinity Tuner. And I love this thing for what it's got for the Hemi. So I just, when I first got the car, I put the basic, you know, 91 octane tune on it. I haven't been to the East Coast. I can't get 93. I wish I could, but can't. So the 91 octane tune really woke up the car from the factory. And then um, with the Diablo Sport Trinity, that's how my Pro Charger uh, installer was able to tweak the um, tune on the Pro Charger to make it a little bit for, more fitting for this vehicle. It has the, um, you know, you can check your 0 to 60 time, do your 8th mile time, do your quarter mile time. It's pretty accurate. Uh, you can do your diagnostics. You can do tuning on there. So what I really like about it is you can do data logging and so you can upload a custom tune from an SD card. So that's super cool. That's how I plan on probably hopefully to get into my custom tune done. If I get, the, I want to do kind of like a remote dyno type deal and record my parameters on dyno and then send it off with my um, USB. So that way I, I can get the people I want to tune my car out. So that is a capability you can do with the Trinity. And if you don't have one, please look into it because they're super awesome. All right, so that thing was about 600 bucks when I first bought it new. I think you can get them a little bit cheaper now, maybe about Maybe about 550, maybe 500. So we'll say between five and 600 bucks for a Diablo Sport Trinity. So that puts me all the way up to $15,600. So that's what I've put into the car so far. Um, I hope this helps you guys out with pricing for your mods that you want to get. Um, I plan on getting a few more things here soon. Like I've told you guys in the past, be patient. You know, I do have to, you know, work around a few things. But there's going to be definitely another really awesome mod coming soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to have an install video as well. That way, if you'd like to get it and you like what I did, I'll make sure that you guys know how to put it in as well. Also, I just want to give you guys a real quick garage update. So just like I said last video, it uh, looks a little messy right now, but I got a new toolbox set up over here. I kind of rearranged a little bit. Got all of my detail stuff and car stuff on this cabinet now. That way, it's all easy access. I can clean all four of my cars and not have a problem finding it. Uh, like I said, workout stuff stain. You know, got to get it in. So it doesn't really cause a problem. I'll park over it. My wifey parks her car here. So the garage is getting there, getting perfect, just the way I want it. Another big thing I wanted to show you guys was I went to vinylsickness.com. I got these awesome YouTube decals for the car. You know, just want to advertise a little bit more. Uh, so definitely a really good quality uh, vinyl decal right there for them. Um, also, big thanks, to shout out to Speed and Things for the, all the details stuff he's giving me, all the motivation he's giving me to start adding my detail stuff and get keeping these cars uh, nice and clean. As you can see, the challenge is looking pretty beautiful right now. Give you guys a walk around. Not looking too shabby for being six years old. But yeah, appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, definitely want to give you guys a couple updates. I'm going to be hitting up a few more people to do a few more races. I was hoping to get one in this weekend, but uh, it was a little wet and rainy here, so I didn't, you know, don't want to be out there in Mexico speeding and maybe slipping around a little bit. So, gotta be sa safety first, right? Uh, we'll be doing going to the eighth mile drag strip here in two weeks, so 16th of March. Look for that video after that. Uh, pretty much, just I'm just be going racing everybody I can and seeing how this thing does. There's a lot of awesome cars out here, so. We'll see how the old supercharged challenger does against these guys. So I really, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. Um, appreciate all the likes, all the comments, all the subscriptions so far. It's awesome. I love seeing the channel grow. It's really motivating me. So thank you guys so much for the motivation. Um, if you like this video, please let me know. Um, if you want to see me do anything else with the car, um, I'll keep it in mind. Um, you know, it does cost money. So. Just give me you guys' ideas, what you guys think I should do next. Um, with that being said, if you guys haven't checked out Speed and Things channel yet, got GTR, he's got two GTRs, a brand new Evo. He's got a lot of plans with that. It's like a lot of sick detail content, so check him out. Make sure you give him a, a, sh uh, a like and subscribe as well. He's got some really good content. So yeah, all right guys, appreciate the support. Please stay tuned for more info, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.